Okay, so I guess I'll do a little video here to show you what I got going on. The Southern California Fall Garden. It's a blueberry plant. And raspberries that look like sticks. I don't know if they're going to grow or what. Anyway, this is the asparagus bed. Um, I transplanted some of it from somewhere else, and I don't know if it's going to come up, but there's a bunch of crowns in there down in here that I planted in these bare spots that hopefully will come up at some point. Um, these are the Brussels sprouts. I'm not sure when they're supposed to start brussling. They just kind of look like plants. I'm not making any... Uh, I never grew them before, so I don't really know. And shoved down in here is some fennel. You can see, they're, I think they're supposed to get a little bigger than that, so I'm not really doing anything with them yet. Back there, I got fava beans. I got fava beans everywhere. And I also have sunflowers that are just volunteering to pop up everywhere because I had them last year. This is um, bok choy. This is uh, planted very too close together shard, but it's still, I still cut it. I still get it. Another sunflower. Uh, more shard. Here's my big sunflower. It's already blooming. Look at this guy. Pretty. And parsnips, which I guess need to be in the ground a little longer because when I pull them out, they're still kind of really small. And I got a bunch of spinach down there. Another blueberry. And in this bed, sorry, making you dizzy. Kale, spinach, Lots of arugula. I kind of overdid it on the arugula. And these are kohlrabi, which I don't know if I really like them yet. I had them. Oh, this one's a pretty nice big one. You like peel these things and slice them up and I don't know, stir fries, stuff like that. But they're purple and you know, I like anything purple. So more favas. And uh, what else did I have in here? Um, Oh, all these pretty salad greens. And this is all the onions, too, and, and garlic that's in here, in between all that stuff. And these are some just really pretty salad greens. Again, I got excited with, saw these, they're purple. I had to buy them. And all this lettuce is doing great. Just trying to eat it up. And then, ooh, look at this pretty lettuce. Isn't that pretty? I like that one. And... So that's that bed, and uh, yeah, there's Buddha. That bed back there is just all fava beans. Well, not all fava beans. It's fava beans, which put, puts nitrogen into the soil, of course, right? That's why I had them. Right there is the parsnips. This is some more kale. That's the potato bed, which is doing really good. It's happy. It's not flowering yet, but it will. Wow. It's kind of an odd time to do potatoes, but I realized that in the spring when you would normally do them here, it just starts to get too hot. You know, they like it warmish cool, so they're doing good. More asparagus that I was going to transplant like I did the ones over there, but uh, they don't like that, so I think I'm leaving those there. Radishes, weird onions, big old cabbage. Got a bunch of, that's the, my biggest one. Look at that guy. I think I'm going to pick that one soon. Like something. Look how pretty they are. More kale. Anybody want some kale? Carrots. I did a lot of carrots because you can never have too many carrots, I guess. And my onions that are two years old and finally starting to bloom. These are green onions. And check this thing out. It's it's like as big as my leg. I don't know why they got so big. Maybe they always do that. I don't know. And then. Over there, this is the herbs, kind of in this little corner here. Some of them are kind of small and sad, but they're gonna all pop back up once spring happens. More Swiss chard. I had some turnips and stuff in there, but I already picked them and used them and or gave them away or whatever I did. Um, and this has had some broccoli rob, which I pulled out. So now this bed I've been getting ready, this part of the bed I've been getting ready to do. Well, I already did it. I put. I don't know if it's too early. We'll find out. A squash, two kinds of squashes there, which will pretty much fill up this whole corner. And um, if they don't die, I hope they don't. And then this is beets, and some of them are getting 
pretty dang big. I don't know if you can see that one. Sheesh, man, that thing's huge. And then again, doing more um, the bunny poo litter stuff I've been putting in here. These are some strawberries around the edges, which I had in front, and I pulled them out because I didn't like them. And put them over here. Some of them croaked, but some of them are kind of starting to come back. So I think they might be okay. And that is a pumpkin, which will, of course, take over this whole bed. So I'm not even going to put anything else in there besides the pumpkin and then these strawberries. Because by the time he gets going, he's going to take over. So that's pretty much it. Um, you know, I've got mint. I've got an olive tree. I've got a grapevine. I've got my baby lemon tree. Um, we have, sorry, all this zipping around with the camera. Back over on this side, the, all the way down where you can't see, on the side of the house, I have a bunch of citrus trees. Um which are producing, but um, as you can see, I still have a lot of room in the yard to do more stuff. I can't quite convince my husband that I can have, that I can just plow it all up. But eventually, you know, he'll, he'll cave in and let me do it. But for now, I have three, six by, no, 10 by, no, 12 by three beds, six of them. So that's pretty okay. Now, in the summer, it gets a little more crowded than it is. Well, it's pretty crowded now, too, but um, I can always use more tomatoes, more space. I ran out of space last time and had them in pots all over the place. But anyway, there you go. That's my garden, and it's kind of chilly out, but sorry for you people that are under four feet of snow. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, but... You know, then again, I don't get any break, either. It's 365 days of gardening, so sometimes breaks are nice. Um, but then again, there's not a lot to do in a winter garden anyway, because it just, it's cold, nothing grows very fast, it all just kind of sits here. I come out and talk to it. I pick carrots. I look at it. But, of course, normally I have to water it a lot, but we're actually getting rain, so I'm not going to have to do that for the next few days. We've had more rain than we've ever, I ever remember getting in my whole life here, which is great. Anyway, talk to you later.